movie chats. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cookie and Hayden's. My name is Chris, and um, we are here today to talk about movies, as we are most weeks. Films, movies, whatever you want to call them. Um, predominantly B-movies is the theme today. B-movies, if you even know what a B-movie is. I know some people were mentioning in the Facebook group, specifically Georgina, um, not wanting to point anyone out, but I have done, uh, who wasn't sure what a B-movie was. So I thought to myself, I wonder if there's a lot of people out there who don't know what a B movie is. So I'll explain in a minute what one is. We've got, we have got some guests coming on. Um, we've got, well, I'll tell you in a minute when we introduce them. Um, I've got one waiting in the green room, two more to come. So hopefully we've got a full house of four, which is a very nice number to have in a chat. Um, so before I talk about B movies, I will just have a quick look who's in the chat. Um, we've got Tori. Hi, Tori. Uh, yay, movie club. Yes. Some people call it movie club. That's fine because it is a bit like a movie club. Um, uh, some people call it movie chats, which is what its real name is. But welcome anyway, Tori. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we've got Jeff in. Hope Annabelle is feeling better. I received. Oh, great. I hope it was okay, Jeff. You got your Ghoulies t shirt. Well, talking of B movies, Ghoulies, probably you would class as a B movie. Um, I'm glad you received that okay. Uh, 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 Bailey's here. Hi, Bailey. Uh, evening movie children. Evening movie children. Okay. And uh, Keely's finally found us on the right night. Apparently, uh, she was looking for us last night. Well, at least you're here now. That's the main thing. Tea Cakes is here. Hi, Tea Cakes. And who else have we got? We've got Matt. Hi, Matt. And Ash oh, I did say Ashley, but then the chat jumped. There we go. Oh, it landed on Ashley anyway. Um, hi, everyone in the chat. Alan's here. I hi, hi, Alan. Oh, he's, yes, Alan's sending me something very kind, sending me a surprise. Well, if it arrives before Monday, I'll reveal it on uh, Monday night show. But thank you for that, Alan, sending me something nice. Um, Oliver Ian's there. Oliver Ian, Steve will be joining us uh, in the chat soon. Oh, there's Ashley. Zombie Flesh Eaters is a great B-movie. Lynx sausage as guys and a real shark versus zombie scene. Um, not sure I understand that actually, but I need to rewatch that. It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Mr. Diggs is here, you know, he should be working. And I think we're at the bottom here. We've got 20 or uh, 20 odd in the chat, so thank you. Um, and before I bring on our first guest, I'm going to explain to you what a B-movie is. I looked up um, the Urban Dictionary. It's probably got several different uh, definitions of a B-movie, just in case you don't know what one is. I'll quickly run through it, and you know what we're talking about. So, Urban Dictionary. The term B-movie was used to distinguish a film from an A-movie. Surprise, surprise. Um in a time, mainly in a time before before movies, uh, in a time before TV, when movies were all were all there were, so there was no TV shows; it was only movies. Um, an A movie is a high budget, highly promoted feature film. A B movie is a regular, lower budget film. That was a kind of long winded way. Let's see. There's some others here. That was a bit of a crappy explanation. Okay, B movie, a movie known for their low budget or possibly even low grade of acting. Yes, that could be true. Most of the time, B movies are either sci-fi or horror, which 
used to be true, but I think there's a lot more lower budget stuff now. But most of the time, unintentionally funny. And that's a key part of a B movie, in my opinion. So I think low budget, unintentionally funny are two big parts of a B movie. Um, what else is it described as? Um, low budget, low or limited budget, uh, commonly commonly used to describe a movie of noticeably poor quality. Um, profit margin is not important when it comes to B movies and A movies. I think we've covered it. Low budget most likely didn't appear at the cinema. That's another point. Anyway, I think I've laboured that point now. So I think you know what a B movie is. So let's bring on our first guest. I'll go in order as they are in the green room. Um, so we'll start off with... Uh, here we go. Night's Life. Hi, Richard. Good evening. Everybody all right? You okay? So Thanks for coming back on. You, yeah, you, no worries. First time last week, and you've decided to come on again. So it couldn't <laughs> have been that bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I enjoyed it. Nice one. Um, you're a big movie um, buff. You've got lots of connections in high places, lots of props and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love films. It's my passion. I love talking about, I could talk about it till the cows come home. So I've done a bit of homework tonight because although I've watched loads of B movies, I couldn't remember it. But uh, yeah, there's some, there's definitely some good ones out there. And my explanation of a B movie is so good, uh, so bad that it's good. Yes. That's the way I look at it. It's so bad that it's good. I think that's probably summed it up. <laughs> um, let's bring on, um, oh, where's oh, my. On. Hang on a second. Where is my name and my logo gone? It's vanished. Yes, that's gone, yeah. Oh, there we go. You have this back on as well. It's all right. There you go. And there it is. This is very shoddy uh, production <laughs> production work. Um, let's have a look. Right, let's see who else we can bring on. Right, we've got... Uh... It's because it's a B-movie. This, yes. this is a B-movie. You got you got this is pretty movie standard, isn't it? <laughs> you, <got the> <laughs> <Yeah>. cast. <laughs> you know, you got the continuity. <laughs> you know, that's it, isn't it? Have you noticed my killer clowns t-shirt, by the way? That's brilliant. And oh, uh God. behind me, I've got Sharknado. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, I've, I've been uh, looking up about that one. I have seen a bit of that film actually. Yeah, there's there's six <laughs> of them. So yeah, I noticed, yeah, I noticed there was a few. <laughs> Okay, let's bring on guest number two, which is Steve Jackson. All right, Steve? All right, Steve. Hello, guys. Evening, all you all right? And you beat yeah. me to it, night. We're saying it's a poor, shoddy B-movie production. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew someone would say it, so I thought I might yeah, as well. Really, the in first. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks. You know how long it takes me to get set up in here? About five Bloody seconds. Night, just by tonight. I have, I have to rearrange the whole house upstairs in order to get this in. Yeah. How are you doing, Steve? All right, thank you. Sorry you're going to be there on Saturday. But, uh, oh, it's all right. Thanks no for having problem. me again tonight. We, we had a good time without you, so you're all right. <laughs> yeah, I noticed, yeah. Uh, nice one. Right, we might as well bring on our last guest anyway, and then we've got a full house to get cracking with. Um, so we've got Oliver Ian. Hey everyone, you're all right. Yeah, that's too bad. You, yeah, good. You all right? Yeah, ready yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's one of my favorite uh topics B movies. That's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you love my film recommendations. I do love your film recommendations, Chris, but that thing had to land on B movies, didn't it? I know. So it's well, fake. On. I it's fake. He got all, he got all moody about it when I mentioned yeah. it. So we're not, <laughs> not going to talk about it tonight. At least, at least Andrew put his hands up to cheating every now and then. I think it, it was that far I away admit from it. the camera. You could every one of them, every other one was B movies. I think. Yeah. You just couldn't see it. I admitted 
I admitted that I kind of rigged it. <laughs> but here's what here's what happened. I videoed it three four times. I videoed that wheel. I didn't right. come up the with first me, three. Time. The first three times it came up with musicals. <laughs> and I just thought we're not ready for that. We need some diversity on the panel if we're going to talk about I don't know. Musical. I think we can cover musical quite nicely. Yeah. 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 I th I think we'll have a, a good go with it. Maybe with yeah. one day's notice we might have had a bit more of a chance. Yeah. I just didn't I just didn't fancy it. So I, I kept spinning it and it kept coming up with musicals. And I just thought, right, on the fourth go, if it says musicals again, it's destined to be that. <laughs> <laughs> and it like came up with B movies. <laughs> so I'll I'll have it. We'll come back to musicals another day because I do I do like musicals, but I just weren't ready to have a whole show on it. Did you think that was a pretty good idea, though, the uh, the wheel? I think so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll spin it at some point during this show to find out what we're going to talk about next time. Mm -hmm. uh, have you taken B-movies off it? Yeah. yeah B-movies B have got to come off it now, though, Chris, because don't forget you've got another 20 categories before this can come <laughs> back up again. Yeah. I'll, I'll take them off as I go around, so as, as we finish them and then... Technically, we'll we want what he buys, though. You could do B movies every week, couldn't you? Yeah. I do. I do like buying the uh, shockingly bad looking films. I quite like Mister hey, Dick's idea about talking about franchises that have gone too far. Jurassic World is definitely going to be up there. Oh. Every week, every week he does this. <laughs> Jurassic Park is amazing. It's one of the best films ever. They're, they're the Jurassic best A list B movies ever. Richard loves Jurassic Park. I was thinking about this. I do. Class, like, I, was, I, I, I don't know. Where, I don't know where to see my video, but I, I did have a little sneak peek. I was trying to have a sneak peek at the new set um, mm, up yeah. at Pine. Um, yeah, you couldn't see much. They got Chris it. They got it, it tightly under wraps. Sorry? Chris loves it. <clears throat> Chris loves it that much. He's bought merch to sell on his store. <laughs> he does. He has not <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Like, uh, have you been stalking every week? week? You've been stalking my store. Yeah, Super Bowl champions hat. Did oh. you like did you like me um Jurassic Park Varsity jackets? Yeah, they're pretty cool then. Then I've yeah, sold one of them actually, already. You've actually yeah, got you one in adult sizes as well. Yeah, I noticed, right? But when I checked, the one that had sold was large. Yeah. So the only yeah. ones that are available now are like extra large, medium or small. <clears throat> So it's very rare he has anything in large at all. <laughs> well, like they were brand new. They, they, were, they were a bit of retail arbitrage. They were brand new, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they're mm. nice. They're nice. I was going to wear one tonight, but it's not really B-movies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, Fish. let's have a look. Oh, I need to talk to you, uh, I need to talk to you all about um, Meteor Man as well. So I just, just hold that thought a minute. Let me just catch up because there's something wrong with my chat window. It's not letting me go to the bottom. Oh, yeah, I've got it. I'm the only one that can actually control that chat with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, yeah. Monday, as soon as happened on Monday, everyone was talking to themselves because Chris never actually <laughs> saw any of the messages. I did. I was very interactive on Monday. Chris was, Chris was too bothered talking about prices of bog roll. <laughs> it was... We have forty was... minutes. We have forty minutes to Costco toilet. <laughs> I had oh, like. God, yeah. oh. Where is Where is Bill? And he's been his Costco toilet. Oh, Matt Bill. Matt oh, Bill. oh, you know Bill what? We can shit. call him. He can be Wild yeah. Bill. Wild Bill. He's Wild Bill. Yeah. He's like Wild Bill from the Green Mile. <laughs> um, let me see what we've got in the chat. Oh, here we go. Hang on a minute. I have lost a lot. I had 140 people in that chat on Monday night. How the hell was I going to keep up with that on my own? It's because you were talking shit. I mean, it was it was mainly because Annabelle wasn't there. It's quite clear. It's quite no, clear who the star of Hayden's is. That's I would say, say. I'm more concerned that, that Anna, where Annabelle was. That was the, that's why they tuned in. Maybe. <laughs> Right, like I found that Chris, Chris is by himself. What mayhem can he get into this week? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Wood said, Did you manage to watch Cradle of Fierce? I haven't yet. No, 
I'm going to write I, it down. I was going to watch that as well. Sorry, Matt. Cradle of Fear. Exactly. I'll try and remember that one. I think, Sorry, I think Matt. Need, I don't think you need to send that out, Chris, because there's some of the stuff that gets mentioned. I don't pick up on it until later on. Because you know, when, when people just when people recommend stuff. Yeah, so I put it in the group. That, that was, I remember that being recommended, but for the life mm -hmm. of me, I couldn't remember it during the week. It was that other yeah. one? You know that we we're talking about. Um, was it a Netflix series or a TV? Uh, sorry, or a, or a movie that that was quite big over Halloween. Oh, uh, Richard said it to me before the oh, chat started. His house. His house, that was it. I was trying to think of it the other night. Yeah, so I was going to watch it. I started watching it. I fell asleep, but um, it was I all right. It. I watched it. It was all right. But it weren't amazing, no, but it was all right. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's just Steve, I can't remember you're, which one was. You're, you're to blame. But we two and a half weeks watching the full seven series of Sons of Anarchy. What do you reckon? Oh, I, I loved it. I, 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 I thought it was a bit of a shaky ending. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on that one. But I think the thing is, is that what I liked about it is it was sort of similar to like um, the old Breaking Bad, where it's like yeah. the tension keeps building up and you're like, how's he yeah. getting out of this one? How's he getting out of this? Yeah. But, There's yeah, uh, the series that. The Mayans, isn't there? Which is, the, which is three years after. Yeah, I've not, I've not um, started that. Same director, so, isn't it? Yeah. Because the, the woman in it out of um, Married with Children, uh, the mum. She's a girl. Um, she's, uh, she's married to him, mm. the director. Well, if you if you have a look at the at the executive producers and stuff, they're all cigars. Are they? Yeah. It's like a I whole family affair. I don't care because I think, I think the actual programme is brilliant. Mm. I really sort of got sucked into that one. <laughs> but I meant, I, to, I, meant to, I meant to ask you how you got on with that. Yeah. Uh, TK that, says that, that, that's a good way of rating them. To be fair, <laughs> that's good. That yeah, very good. A of all, a of all our films and B of all Chris's. <laughs> <laughs> that's harsh. <laughs> why? Why so mean? Using for like ten p each, and then go. I watch that. <laughs> Bailey says some would call it B movie production. Mm. I think that was you at the start, Chris, when you got it, it all wrong. Maybe. Well, yeah, you know, I was I was having a bit of a, a look earlier on at B movies, Chris, and you'll never guess Mortal Kombat Annihilation is on is a B movie. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, I saw that. So is uh, uh, Hercules in oh, New oh, York. Oh. Masters of the Universe. I was going to bring that up later on. And, and they, had to, they, had to, they had to dub the whole thing, didn't they? Because it was just yeah. ineligible. No one could understand what he said. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was that was down as a B movie. Yeah, Death Proof. I I didn't mind that. No, I think I thought that was all right. Wasn't that film to be like a, a B movie though? That was like I think it was, Tarantino's sort of. Yeah, I think it was filmed one. in the style of one, but yeah, I I mean, think... not, yeah. I mean, similar to um, Just Hold On. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of them that are very similar, but not not quite as good. <laughs> Jurassic Park is amazing. Thank you, Bailey. Yeah, but the Jurassic World there. not so much because it's a remake. It's not. <laughs> um, the direct the... sequel that doesn't happen to have the same sort of plot in it at all. Laura says, don't very often watch movies as I'm always watching YouTube videos. Uh, blame Chris, Laura. I think a lot of people I think a lot of people are like that, aren't they? Because YouTube has really replaced some kind of viewership of TV and movies, hasn't it? Well, well the question, the question is, how much live TV do you guys actually watch now? I, I don't watch any. There's no. not a lot live, is there, to watch anyway? I don't no. watch any. I mean, well, I, I watch like, all, all the soaps, but then I just I just watch YouTube because actually mm -hmm. a lot of the films now are on YouTube anyway, so you can watch films yeah. on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I like watching like um, uh, Britain's Got Talent and um, yeah, really though. Yeah, I've, well, I've really? even, I, don't, I don't even watch that anymore. I like watching it. I just like watching it, and also thing is coming on soon, isn't it? That'll be worth watching. Um, in the Welsh jungle, whatever. 
Oh, oh what? Right. Yeah, 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 in the Welsh Castle. It'll yeah. be interesting to see how they do it. That's about. Yeah, as good they're, as not, they're not going to ask to get thrown out of a castle, are they? Really? You can't. Um, you can't really the argue with anything that Ant and Deck do, though, can you? Ant and Deck are great. They know how to how to how to work the TV, and they know how to yeah, make the money. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> Sue Robinson says, can't get my head around this, but you are resellers, but then I'm here too. Ah, uh, Sue, thanks for coming on. Well, if you saw my DVD and Blu-ray collection and all my media, you would um, you'd probably understand. We're taking a break from reselling, Sue. I'm, I'm, I'm an addict. I'm a film addict. That's it. I'm a film addict. I like that one. <laughs> yep. Oh. And this is, this, is our, this is our films, films anonymous meeting, but it's not anonymous. <laughs> movie club some people call it yeah um before we, before we <laughs> uh, oh tory says i don't watch tv either we're always watching youtube thanks tory oh lana's here evening movie club thank you lana hey lana so, i agree lana with that she is <laughs> <laughs> what she said I'm getting quite cheeky that's because you're getting a big star now aren't you Steve oh that's it you see yeah <laughs> I mean really it should, it should be Lana shouldn't it on, on because she's the reseller and Steve <laughs> Steve's not the reseller no I'm just a donkey and the taxi driver <laughs> <laughs> It's funny that. You do some reselling though, don't you? Uh, on private stuff, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Death Race 2000 was a B movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, yeah. With so the, was with Samurai the, Cop, Chris. With, with the crack crocodile car. What do you say, Steve? So was Samurai Cop. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to watch that. Oh, come on. I'm going to watch it. You can't I look, I, I, I look, I'd done a bit of homework earlier. I pulled up the hundred, hundred B movies. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got a big <laughs> list here on the thing to talk about. I mean, there's a few. I've I, I, I used to watch films like The Toxic Crusader, and at, at, at the time, because it was sort of loosely a comic sort of film. Yeah. Be I mean, the Toxic Avenger. Yeah. Now they're considered B movies. But they weren't at the, in the day. They were but like comic yeah. releases yeah I'd, would I'd green say, room be considered a b movie if so i unexpectedly just because uh, it's a b movie keel it don't mean you, you can't enjoy it i don't know i mean it was a good film that one at green room hmm. i in that one oh uh, it's, it's a bit underrated to be fair i, I don't know because that i mean i don't remember that being released in cinemas so you could probably class that yeah. if it wasn't Mm. Big Trouble in Little China. I wouldn't say that was a B movie. No, just because, just because it hasn't aged well doesn't make it a B movie. Uh, and not yeah. being funny, it did have good actors in it, and it did have it. It had good film sets and it had good props. Yeah. I mean, in in that same vein, though, you could say that every Nicolas Cage movie in the last ten years has been a B movie. <laughs> well, I quite like it. Nicolas Cage. My, my wife hates him. Done for cinemas. No, See, I, I, what is I, I would say I would say some of Nicolas Cage's latest stuff are B movies, mm. and they're they're only really using him as a face of the film, aren't they? Just, well, like Bruce money, Willis, isn't it? Yeah. Bruce Willis, he's he's it's, mainly it's the main actor, and he's never in anything anyone else sees. It's the same as John Claude Van Damme. He don't do nothing mm. that's any good anymore. He's he's just like he's just a name on a on a on a screen. He's. <laughs> I think the best thing he's done recently was the cause advert, wasn't it? Yeah, where, where he does the splits between the two lorries. Yeah. <laughs> we are out of lockdown on the 9th and got to be honest, have not watched any TV, only YouTube. Wow. wow. Starship Trooper. Was that a B movie? No. 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 I, think, I, think, I think number one wasn't, but um, what, maybe. Number one well, the, the two, and, two and three were the he yeah. hero with the. Hero of the Federation and Marauder, yeah. they were straight to DVD, weren't they? Casper Van Dien did yeah, them himself. 
he, he, uh, wasn't in, he wasn't in the third one. He wasn't in the second one. He was in the third no, one. That's right. Yeah, I knew he wasn't in one of them. He, he yeah, wasn't I, in the second one, but he, he had a, a dealing with the, the second two, though, didn't he? And then mm. he did, what, three anime ones? Oh, I didn't know that. They did three anime series where they all did the voiceovers for them. Yeah, there's a, there's a review that says Starship Troopers, B-movie trash are an inspired satire. Oh, I think the, first the, first one. One. the first one was decent. Yeah. Mm. Um, right, so I need to talk about because I don't know if any of you guys have well, obviously Oliver Ian has, but um uh, Meteor Man. Not saying I ne never got around to watching it because I thought you were gonna review it last week and I wasn't on the show, so I was only yeah. asked a couple of well, I, on. only, I, right. I only said I'll come on yesterday or the day before, so I haven't had time. Mm. Well, to be honest with you, right, I think it's well worth a watch. I I really enjoyed it, Oliver Ian. Props. Yeah, high five. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was very good, actually. Mm. I I really enjoyed it. Did you buy it, Chris? Did you have to buy it to watch it, or no? When did you get it? Uh, just found online. It on the found it on the internet. means. <laughs> <laughs> I've officially bought it on uh, from T-Bay. Uh, if, if I saw it out in the wild, I'd, I'd buy it because I, I actually, it's it's well worth it. It's good film. Did you buy it on Blu-ray? I did, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw your post on it. Yeah, because like I said to you when I, when I was talking about it the first time around, I'd never actually seen it available on Blu-ray. And it, a lot of them were uh, obviously not UK. And I was like, I'm not bothering with Region 1. Um, Have you got a Region One player? Uh, yeah, I, well, I've got a Panasonic 3D, um, so I could I could make it Region Three if I wanted to. Yeah, um, it's just it was it was on my to buy list, a bit like um, the Shadow, uh, which I bought not long back as well. That was a nineties movie. Mm. Shadow, uh, which one's that? Is that Alec Baldwin? Yeah, yeah, um, I watched that one. But it, it was just one of those I came across years ago and I never got round to watching it again. But mm. it sort of popped in my mind the other day or the other week and I was like, I need to watch it again. So I, I did acquire it before I, before I bought it sort of thing. But um, there's there's just so many actors in it that are what I would say were quite big actors nowadays. I mean, you've mm. got James Earl Jones in there, you've got yeah. Don Cheadle, um, mm. some of the younger ones in there as well. Like There was a Eddie Griffin, uh, and obviously Bill Cosby and a few others, um, but like some of the younger guys in there. Oh, uh, is it Frank Frank Gorshin, the guy who plays the I want to say the Joker in the original Batman series, or oh, the Riddler? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he uh, was the Riddler. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was in. He was in it. Um, just trying to look through now. Uh, but yeah, so. There was loads, absolutely loads of young sort of actors from like the nineties mm. that were in it, but I really enjoyed it. No, I did. I did. I was surprised. It, it was good. It was good. Did you see that the lady that collected the was collecting the money for the uh, clock tower in Back to the Futures died today? No, was oh, she? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, she was in Titanic as well, but she was um, best known for being the yeah the collecting lady for the uh, on for the clock tower. So she had yeah. a good film career then. Both mom, both movies sank. <laughs> but she was, evil, in, she, was in some, she was in some pretty good films. She was mm. in some other big films as well. There's a lot of actors like that though, isn't there, where you sort of see them, you don't know the names of them, but they're in everything. Yeah. Well, it was it was that blonde woman you mentioned the other week, Chris. That was like she's been when when you mentioned a few of the films she was in, we we all knew her, but we we couldn't. Picture. Oh, the now you're asking him. Was it on the Halloween show? No, no it was probably the week before when Steve was on, I would imagine. Oh, I can't remember. Mm. I'll have a think oh, on yeah, that. The, yeah, but the, there's a few of them, isn't there, where, where you mention someone's name and you can't picture them, and then they roll off a, a load of films that you've been in, and you go, oh, I know that one. Mm. So anyway, good recommendation for anyone in the chat. Meteor Man. 
as in meteor right meteor mm -hmm. man um let's see what matt's saying here attack of the killer tomatoes never seen that in years yeah it's been a long time since i saw mm -hmm. that one ice station zebra what's that oh, i've heard of that one no oh, I don't know what that is, Alan, but I shall certainly look it up. Mm -hmm. Ghost. Oh, that that's something I saw on Netflix. I've not watched it yet, but it looked interesting. Ghost. Ghosts of War. I'm not sure if I've seen that one. Bloody fireworks! Oh, we've sure. had a mid today. Mm -hmm. It's been like this for two weeks. Yeah, it's like living in a war zone at the moment. <laughs> that looks all right. Actually, it goes to war. I might watch that tonight. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what I watched last night was um, Extraction. Oh, I watched that the other day. It's brilliant. First time I've got around to watching that. that I really Chris enjoyed it. Hems oh, Hems I loved it. it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely loved it. Mm. Excellent film. So, one thing that is annoying me with that, though, is like some of these ones that I'm watching on Netflix and Amazon, because they're exclusive to them, I can't buy the Blu ray. Yeah, which I, I, I understand the premise of the reason why, but I'd love to see like extras and stuff. Mm. What's but, what's that one that Ryan Reynolds has got on there? Is it Six Underground or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good film as well. That keeps popping up on mine to watch. Mm. And I watched one, um, not last night, but the night before, it's called Polar, and it's got mm. Mads Mickelson in it, who was uh, the baddie in the Bond films. Yeah. And that was a good film if you want to see one on Netflix. I'll have a look. Mm -hmm. What's that called again? Uh, I think it's called Polar or the, or the Polar. It's a really good film. I enjoyed it. The Polar, as in the Polar Express. Yeah, like spelled like that. Yeah, but it's it's it's. Um, right. So I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you a serious question here now, Knights. Do you like some beavers? Well. I'm because, not depending, it, to be because, because depending on how you answer that depends on how serious I take your recommendations. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen it. I'll have to watch it. I'll have to come back to you on that one. You need to watch it. Steve, I've it got to like, on that one, mate. It sounds like one uh, I don't you watch. tell me you like it. I've I've I've, it, I've literally purchased the Blu-ray the other day. Is it like is it is it like Porky's? Yeah, just yeah. yeah. yeah whatever you think it could be like, we'll just go with that. It's good. It's very good. And Mr. Diggs picked it up for 50p, I saw. Yes, mm. I was well jealous with that one. That was a good pickup, that. Uh, I'm sure if you offer him two quid, he'll sell you the, the blue ray, Steve. I've, I've just bought it now. I paid to be fair, I paid about three quid on eBay. Mm. Move, I oh, that, a lot. Remember, do you remember that movie forty three? It had so many stars in it, but it was terrible. Yeah, but that was because the contracts all said that they had to do an extra film, so they all got forced to do it. Is that what it is? Yeah, they didn't. Nobody actually wanted to be in the film, but because the the studio had contracts for every one of the actors, Bloody it was yeah. like, right, well, you owe us another movie, so you're in it. In fact, I think a couple of them tried to sort of sue them for it. Yeah. To say, look, I don't want to do it, but in the end, it was too much money. So, but yeah, that's the reason why they've got so many actors in that one movie. Wow. Mm. World's greatest dad. That's uh, Robin Williams, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've just hmm. read that actually, as I said it. <laughs> uh, I bought Condor Man recently, 80s superhero oh, movie. Oh. Oh. Is this going to be like Meteor Man? Michael Crawford. I love Michael Crawford. As, as a superhero. I don't know about superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he is, you know. Look at that. Yeah. 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 1981. It says an, an action adventure romantic comedy spy story. I don't know what else it could be. Keely says, if B-movies aren't supposed to be released at the cinema, why do studios make them? What's in it for the studio? Rental. Yes, uh, they still get money from them, don't they? They still get revenue. And they've got a limited budget to make them. 
They've only got a limited budget. They haven't got millions. You don't spend a lot on them. No, they cost oh, yeah. thousands instead of millions. I forget a lot of a lot of the B movies, uh, uh, like A movie remakes, but with a poor budget. You know where you've got like crap uh, cars, what, crap props. Yeah, what was it? Armageddon and Deep Impact, two sim- two very similar films, but one had a good budget and one never. And you know, it's a it's balance. But saying that, I like I like both of them films. I thought De- I thought Deep Impact was a great film as well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I like that. But no, uh, to answer to Bailey's question, I've not seen the room yet. Um, I have got What's it. Some um, beavers, they're boobies. There's boobies. Oh, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm def- I'm buying it as soon as I get off of it. James Franco was that wasn't actually the room. James, Fra- they, they made a big oh movie about it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I do apologise. I read that wrong, Bailey. So yeah, there's the room, and then there's the uh, movie that came out not long ago with James Franco in about the room. Didn't someone mention the room before? So did you go in? It's like these different rooms you have to get try and get no, out no, of no, no 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 the room is a really badly acted film oh. uh but it was that sort of um it's like a cult classic now that they, they brought out a movie not long ago with james franco in basically about making the movie okay the guy who who sort of directed it i think he was the one that sort of paid for everything he sort of made his own movie and starred in it yeah that happens, doesn't it? When they 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 make it themselves, they direct it, they act in it. It's not going to be yeah. any good, isn't it? No, but James Franco, when he was in an A-list movie, he only lasted five minutes in um, Alien Prometheus. Didn't yeah, he? He was on the yeah. It wasn't Prometheus, so he was it. It was Covenant. They killed him in Covenant. Alien Covenant, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was it. The disaster artist. That was the. Uh... The movie that James Franco was in about it. Saying that, James Franco's brother's in that Six Underground that you were saying about earlier. Is he really? Yeah, he's he's not in that for long either. Hmm. I tell you, a, a, a movie you know, recently just popped up. Actually, um, I watched, which was quite good, called Going in Style. It's um, it's like the old the oldies. You got like um. Oh yeah. Michael K. Yeah, Morgan no, Freeman and yeah, Alan. It's quite, nice, it's quite a nice film. That. Oh yeah. I've that wasn't a big budget one, was it? That was a good film. It reminded me a bit of um, what's the one in Las Vegas? The oh yeah yeah yeah, it came With out Michael Douglas in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. God, what was that? And Morgan Freeman. That was oh, a good. It wasn't bucket list, was it? No, no, it wasn't. It was not. At all. It's on the top of me. It's top of me head now. Last Vegas. Last, Last Vegas. Las Vegas. That was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was quite a good film. Mm. You, um, Sue says I'm addicted to YouTube. Not uh, yet. Not into social media. Not watched a TV show in real time for a long time. You know, a lot of people are like that, Sue. Mm-hmm. What do because you have it's all in one, isn't it? You got it all in the one place. See, Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner in The Highwayman. Yeah, that, that's on Netflix at the moment. Oh, I saw it. Really yeah, I saw it on there, but I haven't oh. watched it. Like U.S. Marshals and tracking yeah. down. I think it, I think they are tracking down Bonnie and Clyde, aren't they? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember one? I think it was the nineties. Uh, a Perfect World with Clint Eastwood and uh, Kevin Costner. In. Mm. That was good. No, not seen that. Oh, Speaking cool. of Kevin Costner, would you class Water World as a B movie? I know. No, that no, I, be, no oh, yeah, I know that was meant to be really, really good type of film, and the budget wise was immense, but. Way it was filmed, just for what they spent on it, I think you can't class it. Yeah, it I mean, I, I, I like the film. Man. I thought it looked great. I think if you watched it now, you'd probably think it was, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, mm. you'd definitely be like, "Yeah, this is probably B movie." Yeah, uh, Deep Impact is one of my worst films. Apparently, Steve says I quite like mm. Deep Impact. Yeah, I quite like it. But then saying that, if if someone didn't know. The film Jaws, and they watched it now. They think that was a B movie. Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. You know, and we loved it. <laughs> we loved it. You know, I love Jaws. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. But if 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 someone that didn't know about it watched it now, they'd hundred percent think it was a B movie. Yeah. However, if you were to watch Jaws three, three D, oh, or whatever it was, God. or Jaws the Revenge, yeah, we're, 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 we're swimming like that through the yeah. 
absolute load of, load of garbage. Makes you appreciate things like the Meg nowadays, though, doesn't it? That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, is that an A-list B movie, though, the Meg? Now we're getting complicated. Here, is, is that is that where you is that where you find the boundary between what is meant to be A list and what's meant to be B movie? It's maybe it's an A stroke B. Yeah. <laughs> You're overthinking it. it. Yeah. <laughs> You're over. Let's not categorize. No. <laughs> it's, a decent film. it's definitely a B plus. <laughs> B plus. Be it's deep I, like the Meg, no. I think I, I like the Meg. Yeah, it was amazing. I did. I, I liked it. Deep, the first Deep Blue Sea was really good. Yeah. I haven't seen Deep Blue uh, 3 yet, but everyone seems to be raving about it. I, I like number three. Uh, I mean, it's it, it still looks to be reasonably high budget. Um, some of the stuff in it's quite good. Uh, I've got a box set here with a lot of B-moves in it, but it might not show on camera because of my green screen, and you'll see why in a minute, because the bloody thing's green. <laughs> See, that's why, you, that's why you wanted it. That's why you wanted this B movie night. <laughs> the, Just so we can show up as Lisa's stock. <laughs> I've had this yeah, available in the for, in this shop. Yeah, I've had it for God about five years and not watched a single film in it yet. Oh, you do well then. I know. So it's got in it. Must have the birds, Alfred Hitchcock. Hell that comes to the town. Yeah, no, I, like, I like that film, but um, it, was bit, it was a bit bad. Slugs. Well, I'll show you. So it might not work this, but how comes to Frog Town? That was on yeah, that was got, list. <clears throat> That's not going to work, is it? Slugs. Right. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, just about slugs. Um, return, not the first one, but Return of the Killer Tomatoes. All right. Uh, El Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Okay. Yeah, I think that was on the list. Uh, did you see it on your list? Yeah. This this ain't a bad one to watch. Spiders. I know you can't see that properly. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, the stuff. The stuff. Oh, I did see that on there. That was definitely on there. Yeah. Are you eating it or is it eating you? That's that's a good one. Mr. Big. Rats. Nice. They're all have you noticed a lot of B movies are all animal related, aren't they? A lot of them. <laughs> Cheap yeah. cost. Cheap cost. So Chris, go on, carry on. If you got more there. Octopus. Of course he has. He's got a box of them up there. I've got like twelve here. Um Creature. Uh, what else have we got? Crocodile. See, I told you they're all bloody animals. Yeah. It's probably because yeah. they can use a little stuffed animal and get away with making it 60 foot tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Return to Horror High. That definitely looks uh, Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, that was on the list. So, based on, based on previous shows, Corey recommended In the Name of the Father. Not seen it. So, so Lana bought a copy of that. And then we mentioned it a couple of days on a couple of shows ago. At Tremors 1 and 2. Oh, oh yeah. Tremors. I quite so enjoyed Tremors. Tremors. Got Tremors 1 and 2. Yeah. Was that, was that, um, was that Kevin... Bacon. And bacon and Fred West, yeah. That's right. And another one someone recommended was My Sister's Keeper. So Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah, we went that. out and got a couple of coffee. We, we found them in a charity shops and stuff. So charity shop by us, three for a pound. Couldn't complain. So hmm. That's good. Let's see uh, what the chat is saying. Uh, Sue, the man with the iron fist with Russell. Yeah, I've seen that. Well. Yeah, we've got that. That's they did play Batista mm. in it as well, hasn't it? That's a, is that not the second one? I love the novel slugs. Disgusting. 
My father live, work, lived worked for Nottingham City Council. We rented the property. Well, what? Sorry, I've missed something there. I think they were talking about where you lived and how close they were before. Ah, oh. Laura's asking asking about West Bridgeford. Oh, I get you. Okay. Slugs and rats are James Herbert stories. So these all seem to be based on a book on books. Mm -hmm. mm. Doesn't say on the. Uh, Joan, oh, Joan's dropped in watching while eating dinner. We're just talking about slugs, Joan. Uh, <laughs> You're not eating rats. rats. <laughs> hey, Joan. Um, have a look at this that I picked up. It's oh, nice. no way. I want it. I don't Chris. normally have the big mugs. <laughs> Chris, I want this, it. This, this one is 2005. Uh, universal mug. Nice. Oh, right. I love, oh, thanks, Chris. I love that. That is nice. That is awesome. I missed out on the auction because it it, it end, the auction ended. It started at ninety nine p and nobody had bought it, and I just missed the end of it. Um, you so won I, it. when no, I didn't win it. it, it nobody bought it even at ninety nine p. Um, oh, so you've had it listed, have you? No. Yeah, I bought. No, I bought this. Right, I'm getting confused now because I've just said, did you did you win it? Sorry, yeah, I bought I bought it off somebody, but um, that's amazing. They relisted it, so I just sent them oh, an offer that. straight away of of ten pound including postage, and they accepted it. So, but it's oh, nice that. That's yeah, I've been, been listing mugs today. Hmm? I've got about another twenty twenty seven or twenty eight to list. I think. You know, you've yeah. done them. Sorry, mate. You know, they've done them programs a while back from Universal Studios and that, Chris. The, oh yeah, uh, maps and stuff. I've still got all of mine of those. I've still got quite a few of the maps from the studios um, that when we actually went. <clears throat> but yeah. also, I bought some uh, ephemera uh, that that some maps came with it. But I've sold all that lot off now. Hmm. Well, mine are like 90, 92 and ninety eight, I think. Yeah. So it's, that's that that logo and that they you know like the marines. They're the main pictures on them. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Exactly. They're the ones that I had before. Uh, some of them are worth money, depending on what rides are in them. I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. They're not worth huge money, but one day they might be. So what's yeah, your store then, Rich? What, what's your store called? My eBay? Yeah. Better with age. B-E-T-T-E-R with I age. You, I think I've got you saved. Are you the... Back to the Badlands or something. You oh, into the Badlands. Yeah, I've got yeah. into the Badlands stuff, yeah. Yeah. But I've just found, I'm going to put it on eBay next week when I get home. Um, I found my little Exorcist. I've got my, I've got one of those Exorcist toys. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I think it was someone on it on, when we were talking on the chat that mentioned about the little Exorcist yeah. toy. Oh, yeah. Chris. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Well, I looked on there and there's one finished at 100 quid. I mean, I had it on eBay before for 20 quid. And it never went, which I'm glad about now. But one was bought for a hundred quid. But there's another two that have gone, and one was, I think it was internationally. But one was about three hundred and fifty odd quid, and one was four hundred odd quid. Wow, crazy yeah. money! I'm surprised Chris isn't sitting here with Martin McFly's jacket on because that was up for auction this week, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's had to splash out on other things, hasn't he, Chris? I had yeah. I had a replica made. I had a replica one made in America, and that cost me about. That. Cost me about eight hundred quid to have a replica one made, but I had a replica Biff Kane and mm. and some of the light up mags. Actually, in Aldershot, where where I am now, it's where I used to meet the guy that makes the replica Jurassic Park props. He made me a replica Hammond Kane. No way! Amazing, oh, no. absolutely amazing. He's a brilliant prop maker. Speaking of Jurassic Park, Chris, you're not the one that Z's trying to sell that for us or up to I. Yeah, it's a nice prop that. Mm. It looks like it's gonna be an expensive figure, that one. I, I did have a brief look online because I, I, I looked it up about 110 to 130 <laughs> quid. I think. What is that retail yeah. price? I think so, yeah, about 111 yeah. to 130. Yeah. I've got some Jurassic Park stuff. I've got a nice, I've got a nice Jurassic Park um, figure with the T Rex mm. sort of bursting in front of the um, main doors. That's quite mm. a nice one. 
That's probably worth a bit now that Annabelle bought me that quite a while back. I think I said yeah. before, I had, a bar, I had a barber soul cam with all the little dinosaur DNA bottles. Mm. I've seen them on, the, on one of the wholesalers. You can buy that, but it's yeah. quite expensive. Yeah, but if, you, if you buy it, if you, there's some with a black uh, rubber ring around it, ceiling ring. You have to get the ones with the brown ceiling ring is the ones that you want to go for. Because right. they're more screen accurate. Your Jurassic Park thing's on your intro video, isn't it, Chris, for your uh, and Hayden's? It, I think it used to be on my first intro. Yeah. It's not on the current one, but it was on the old one. Have yeah. you changed yeah, your intro recently? recently? What, sorry? Have you changed your intro recently? Um. Oh, well, only when I rebranded everything, cooking, you know, with the new oh, yeah, logo yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I, I changed it all then. Have you, um, Richard, have you got any um, B-movie stuff, you know, like props and stuff? Um, I've only got, I've only got worth much. Yeah, they're not really worth anything. And you don't, to be honest, you don't really see anything like that come up much because it's probably, probably, I would say most of it's probably been thrown away. Mm. Um, I mean, I've got a hand, a hand glove from Ginger Clown. I think I mentioned it before to you. And it's got um, yeah. it was um, it was Tim Curry in it as Ginger Clown. I've not watched the film the film yet, but um, I bought that was really cheap. I think I bought that it's a massive hand, latex hand glove and it's got long fingers and the fingers are broke the fingertips are broken off of it. But I paid something like fifteen quid and if you if you type into eBay Ginger Clown, you'll be able to buy something off there for pennies. It's it it, 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 it B movie stuff wouldn't go for a lot of money unless it's something. Really prominent from an old film, like I suppose, yeah. thing Bye, or, Alan, mate. or things like that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind one of the beavers from Zombievers. God, can you imagine if they I came bet, off? I bet you wouldn't mind one of the I've, beavers. I've, I've never, beavers. I've never seen anything like that. I did nearly buy some of the big piranhas from Piranha 3D and the bikini costumes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But oh yeah, oh yeah. And some, some of the eating torsos, but um. Yeah, I've never seen anything from Zombievers, unfortunately. If you do, give me a shout. Keep I your will. Hundred percent. Yeah, put the word out to the community. The, the, the prop community. Out the I'm, looking, I'm looking for a beaver. <laughs> looking for a beaver for Chris. Uh, would Zombie you class? The, would you class the Blob as a B movie? Uh, I I would yeah. say yes. Yeah, hundred percent. It is a B movie, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Steve says Waterworld was my first date with the now wife. I'm oh, surprised wow. he's married if that's the case. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Jones having slug casserole. Nice. Bloody fireworks out here now. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, we're having, um, when this is done, I've got a strict time limit. I've got to be done by eight, Annabelle says. <laughs> um, but when we're done on here, we're going to go and we've made, we've got a fire pit going in the garden. We're going to go and sit outside nice. and we're going to have um, marshmallows and stuff like that. A fire pit oh, in the garden? Is, is that what you do now? Yeah, we've got, well, we've got a little That's fire pit. Devon lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, it's only, it's only in there was just a car on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's no, pitch we were, black out. It's pitch we black out. Have, yeah. We were going to have five pits here tonight, but it's like minus one outside. It's too cold. Look outside, mate. There's probably a car on fire somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Living elsewhere, Paul, not be Ruth. <laughs> See you, Alan. Thanks for joining us. Hi, right, Alan. Shall we um shall we spin the wheels to see what we what homework we've got and also yeah. what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about next week? It is B movies, isn't it? Bloody hell. So I'm gonna share I'm gonna share the screen. I don't know how this will work with uh with four people on, but I'll try it anyway. Has the chat got any suggestions of what we can watch and what we can discuss? Okay, we well, you can try. Well, you spin, you spin your wheel, and we'll get the chat going at the same time. I can always add. I can always add some for next time. Uh, share screen. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Oh, it works. Um, 
So, oh, no, not that one. So I was doing my research as well. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> right, here's, the wheel. here's the wheel for uh, what the next theme will be. I'm just checking his list. B movies have gone. Don't worry, all the ones we've had have gone. Now, whatever it lands on, we are bound to do. Right? So it's not the best of four then, Chris, now, until you get something that you like. <laughs> no, we're live. We can't, we can't we are. We're live. Should we do it then? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Go on. Let's, I'll click shuffle on here first so we get a double shuffle. And we'll spin it. going to be musicals. What's that, B-movies again? <laughs> oh, best. Ever. Oh. oh, we can go on for that all day. Oh, Chris that's going to be a long show. Yeah. Going to have to make sure that Chris has got, hasn't got a time limit on next Thursday. Have you got, have you got the one, Chris, that, that's got the years on it? The decades? The what, sorry? You were going to do one that had like the decades on it, didn't you? Like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and, and whatever. Oh, was that? Did you do that wheel? I can make one quick if you want. Oh, I knew what to say earlier on. I watched, um, I put Rear Window on today for, for a change. Got mm. me, got me um, Alfred Hitchcock's out and had a watch of that. Classic movie. Yeah. So you want one with years on? No, I'm just thinking if you're going to do like the best movies ever, try and, and have it down to like a decade. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on a minute. Uh, subject. You talk amongst yourselves and I'll see if I can do something. No, okay. Chris, you've just caused him more hassle though. I, I, sorry, Steve. <laughs> caused him more hassle. <laughs> no, he doesn't his best movies ever. It was just a, a couple of weeks ago we said he was going to do that because when we were talking about the 80s, we were. You, you're right. I did say we we're going to do that. We, we, we could talk for forever for that, couldn't we? Well, this is what I'd said, wasn't it? It's just yeah, genres yeah. of, of yeah, certain yeah. ones as well. Did you know the uh, first Piranha was a B movie? Oh, sorry. First Piranha was a Keely, B movie. Keely, we're trying. Come on. We are trying. Yeah. Not ready for musicals, but we are ready for the best <laughs> films ever. Best movies ever. <laughs> sorry, I, I pressed it by accident. Forget this. It's, it's landed, landed on, on the same one. Anyway, does, 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 see, it's a fit. Oh, not having this. No way. It's got... That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Two on the trot. He said this before, that it landed on musicals what? three times. We're far off. Off. Look at it. Yeah. Run right, it again, Chris. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> run it again. <laughs> but if I press shuffle and then run it. Oh, that might be better. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've, I've seen the, the front cover. I know which one that is. It's like a futuristic movie, that, isn't it, Dark Sea? Hmm. Sci-fi. Oh, please. Oh, right, yeah. oh, no. that's, the one, that's the one where they change everything, isn't it? They put them asleep and change the Steve's environment. Steve's on next week. Mm -hmm. That's Steve talking about Scythe, about the I mean Star Trek. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Star Trek's only a small part of my sci fi <laughs> knowledge, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, can we have well, sci fi then? Wait until, we start talking, wait until we start talking about aliens and Rafa Khan next week for best movies ever. Oh, I went to Oh, no, Rafa which Khan one are we on now? <laughs> which one are we doing now? Are we doing sci fi or best movies ever? I, they're, they're both same things to me. <laughs> well, why don't we do best movies but someone just pick a year let the chat pick a, a decade to do yeah so in the chat if you want to we'll see how many we get uh pick a decade so yeah please do <laughs> we can narrow it down yeah <laughs> i'd suggest 70s onwards but 70s 80s 90s noughties 10s that's where I'll do research for a week to try and find the best 50s movies. Yeah. There you go. Joan says 90s. Tori says 90s. 
1890s. <laughs> well, at least you would remember that. <laughs> I would imagine it would be quite a small amount of movies, though, so it'll be all right with yeah, that one. Might be a lot in it. So far, 90s is winning a lot by, by a lot. What was so that? Grand, Grand what says do, 80s. See, we want to do 80s, but I'd rather do that via genre. Yeah. There's yeah. so many different movies. It was just a mess. Okay, your 90s, then you're talking your, your Forrest Gump, your Jurassic Park. Brave oh, we get to talk about Jurassic Park, do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But no Back to the Future. No. no. Number three? Oh, Back to the Future 3 is 1990, isn't it? Yeah, you can get away with that. How you know, rude. You've got, you've, got, you've got films in there like The Last Action Hero. I think it wasn't that 90s. Sorry, Stu. Yeah. It's a true think... romance, right? That's done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Keely, I think she's. I think they've nailed it. Keely, the answer. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do nineties then. Best yeah, yeah, cool. movies of the nineties next yeah, week. Okay, that's that's, that's that's better way. Yeah, it just narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? Because we have that's kind good. of the first show we did kind of talk about the best our best films and stuff, didn't we? So. Right, we need to pick some homework then. Well, there's, there's been a couple mentioned tonight, haven't there? So, I mean, I wouldn't mind watching Dark City. That's a good mm. film. Because I've never seen it. Mm. So, so, what was the other one? Cradle of Fear, Polar, Condor Man. Duck, uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil for the Zombie yeah. fans. <laughs> oh, that's, on, that's on Netflix at the moment, that one. So, that's an easy one to find. Oh, I'll watch that then. I watch it tonight. What's that one? What's on Netflix? Tucker and Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Yeah. Um, let me uh, let me spin the wheel and see what film it comes up with. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm I'm lost on this one. What's this? This, 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 is, this is the one I've been that we've, we've started off. Yeah. Oh, let okay. me add a, let me add a couple to it. Um, Hobgoblins, which uh, Mr. Diggs suggested. Mm -hmm. um, we'll add Samurai Cop on it. I don't know if Ginger Clowns are being really. Got Frank's yeah. kill it. Did did anyone did anyone? I watched the uh, I watched the trailer for one off of the list earlier. Thanks killing about the killing turkey. Oh, oh right. yeah. yeah, I keep meaning to watch that, Richard. That's definitely what Thanks Killing, yeah. Oh, my, there's a Thanks Killing free as well. See, mm. it's like it's like an episode of uh Sesame Street. I'm, I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure of the answer, but I was thinking about it. I bought uh Black Christmas the other month. I was trying to figure oh. out, can I watch that Christmas or in or Halloween? I weren't sure. <laughs> in between. <laughs> Oh, it's, like oh, nightmare nice. before, it's like Nightmare Before Christmas, isn't it? It's that a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie. Yeah, exactly. Krampus. Well, same with Krampus. Krampus as well, isn't it? Mm. Christmas or right. let me uh, Let me spin this. And if you want to watch it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Oh, I thought it landed on High Spirits. And that's Steve Guttenberg, isn't it? High Spirits. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the do-over. Do-over. <laughs> I've already seen that because I recommended that the other week. Well, there you go. You're fine. You can watch <laughs> Meteor Man. Yes, Steve, you've got to watch Meteor Man. Okay. okay. It's like uh, Adam Sandler and David Spade. What's that, sorry? You like Adam Sandler and David Spade. Don't I mind. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. So it's Netflix a do-over, isn't it? Anyway, anyone in the chat who wants to join in with any of these films that we're recommending to watch, feel free, and then we'll talk about it next time. Um, so we've got the do-over and... Did we say something Meteor else? Meteor Man for Steve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got to catch up. Catch up. 
Uh, and if no, if if you're not in our Facebook group, then feel free to go and ask to join it, and I will approve your request. Um, yeah, we've got like a Facebook group that runs alongside this, and we put trailers in there and stuff we pick up in regards to films, anything to do with films, post it in the group, share your knowledge, your reviews and stuff like that. No problem. Give us all something to watch, especially in lockdown. Mm -hmm. some people yeah, this might is the ideal more... time for some people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, some people might have more time than, than normal. I'm definitely going to watch Dark City again. Yeah, I'm going to track that down i think it's been, it's been ages since i saw that ages. i've made a note of that one dark city yeah, i can't even remember years. how it went i know it's i know it's well i don't want to go away from the film it's, it's, it's a good film though no that's and that's steve's got, job hasn't it got, um, hasn't it got richard o'brien in it steve likes well, to tell people what happens in movies don't you steve I, I keep telling chris he's got to put spoiler <laughs> on the bottom of this steve what happens in jurassic park <laughs> go to an island and they get eaten by dinosaurs and then funny enough in the second one they go to an island and get eaten by a different set of dinosaurs <laughs> oh where's he gone <laughs> where's he gone <laughs> Have you, are you, you've censored him haven't you Chris <laughs> <laughs> he censored you then <laughs> and then funny enough they remake them and, and we, we release them <laughs> excuse me yeah, don't watch Condor Man if you like Porsches. Oh, way up. Hmm. What's this? If, uh, I was, I, on the list, it, uh, uh, the Raven on the list earlier. Did, when, when you looked at the list, did you see the Raven on there? That's got Vincent Price, Peter Laurie, and Boris Karloff. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. Was it, a a it was well it was it was directed by Roger Corman, who is apparently known as King of the B movies. Hercules in New York B movie. Let me yeah, let me have a look at my list on here. Obviously, I haven't even mentioned Killer Clowns, and we love Killer Clowns, don't well, we? Killer Clowns, oh, Shark yeah, Nights, we and Sharknado. Sharknado's a B movie. Yeah. Is uh Rubber a B movie? Is what? Rubber. Mother. <laughs> That's probably a C movie, that is. <laughs> that is awful. Awful, that Basket film. Case. Basket Case is a, a B movie. I remember watching that years ago. Oh, That's the blob's really on there. The blob's on there. Yeah, the There's blob. loads, mate. Absolutely loads. Oh, I'll have I've to, never... I'll have to check out that Danger Cloaks that Matt's talking about, because I quite like the war films and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Here's one I think should go on the wheel. Oh, go on. You ready for this? Piranha Conda. Oh, God. <laughs> Piranha Conda. What is it with you and picking right movies like street. three different names? <laughs> Piranha. I'm putting that on. I don't care what you say. It's going on. <laughs> well, yeah. has, any, has anybody seen Dr. Terror's House of Terrors? <laughs> no. it's, it's based on a train but it's um peter cushing christopher lee and roy castle but it's uh, we and funny enough me and my brother watched it last week i, I didn't even realize it's a b movie it just came up on the list but yeah that's a that's a it's called dr terror's house of terrors and it's it's filmed on a train so yeah that's a bit of a strange one so you know do you know the other week when you were talking about going to the film shop at the the movie shops like Blockbuster and stuff like that. What what if you were to get a film from there? What would you go for? Because I bet you Chris was looking at the stuff like the Megalodon versus Giant Octopus. Or, oh God, yeah. Or Megalodon yeah. versus Me Mecha Me Megaton or something like that. There's what there is one with a with a robotic shark, isn't there? Yeah, I yeah. It's Megalodon something. versus Megaton or something. It's called. Oh, isn't it? That what that a load of that was. That sounds good. That, no, no, it looked like an animation. It was absolute pants. But do you put do you put Belle through every one of these movies, Chris? Or do you just tend no. to watch them on your own? She she won't watch most of them, to be honest. <laughs> no, she 
She, she's not into any horror, so that puts out a lot of these films because a lot of them are horror. I don't think she's into B-movies because she's not been on the chat all night. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> a point. I wonder what she's doing. Oh, you know what? She, she's working for me. She's listening. <laughs> I've, start, I've, I've put her on the payroll. She's starting to work for me for doing some listings for me. This is on social hours, through, though, isn't it? Have you got to get through a load of the stuff? Don't say that. Of Got to get through without like, the stock now. You've ordered those 415 cycling jerseys. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Bell, you're on time and a half. It's unsociable hours. Yeah. Mid midnight in unsociable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's doing um she's trying to do a hundred listings a month for me. You don't do hundred listings a month. And don't tell her that. <laughs> 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 I do actually. I do. I do a lot. A lot more than that. A lot. Yeah. I was going to say she's got to earn a keep. But she's the main breadwinner, isn't she? So, how many have um, you listed today, Chris? So, how many have you listed today? You're going to yeah. tell me, aren't you? Because you probably stalked I, me. I can find out if you'd like. <laughs> I think I've probably done. I've probably done about twelve today. Mm -hmm. But everything, most of the stuff that I do needs bloody research, and that's what kills the time. Never mind that. That's an awesome Star Wars t-shirt. And and watching Meteor Man as well at the same time. Oh, well, that makes sense. I've actually seen a large on your on your thing. Yep. Chris. Which what are you looking at? The Star Wars t-shirt. Oh yeah. That's cool. He doesn't, doesn't sell real men's sizes. He only goes to a large. Well, I haven't looked in a small print yet. It probably says Japanese large, doesn't it? Oh, whatever. Uh, Joan, says, Joan says, Creature from the Black Lagoon, my favourite B movie. I I actually don't know if I've watched that. Yeah, I've seen that. See, I would have quite, I would have dumped your uh, new DC t shirt. You've got the Aquaman one, but it's only yeah, a medium. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Yeah, only a medium. Look at you two, Look at you two bloody. You, you can fit into that, Steve. Come on. If you show them two together, a muscle is it's a muscle t shirt. The aqua, the aquaman one, yeah, and the asteroids one's not bad. Oh, the yeah, they're, they're mediums, but they I would probably say they're on the slightly smaller side of the mediums. So, if you show them two together, Chris, and I'll have an asteroids front and an aquaman back, I might fit in it. All right, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get Belle on the case. <laughs> <She can come. laughs> I tell you what though, I was gutted because I bought an extra. I bought an extra large Transformers T-shirt from Puma in Cheshire Oaks yesterday, and I put it on, and it's like a tent on me. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on there with the sizes. Why uh, didn't you go to Cheshire Oaks? Because you could. Because well, you can't try anything on, can you? At the moment, you can't try anything no. on. It's a I, I, thing. We live about five minutes away from Cheshire Oaks. Oh, and really? we just went for a we just went for a bit of a, a bit of a wander around the shops before they all shut. For once, I actually found something that was worth paying. What's Matt going on about here? What must be one hour twenty? What is what's he talking about? Oh, to to because uh, you have you can't watch anything past one hour twenty. Oh, is that why you were saying we've got to finish at eight o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> District Nine, uh, good movie, Matt. I watched that Doctor last week. Doctor Terror. Anyone seen that one? That's that's the one I said about. It's an old Hammer horror, but it's um Doctor Terror's House of Terror, but it's the the one set on the train. I say it's got Vincent. Uh, it's got Chris. It's got Christopher Lee and uh, Peter Cushing and Roy Castle on it. And it's uh, you've probably seen it years ago. It's five different stories, and one's where all these plants start growing up and trying to kill the people in this house. And there's another one with a hand trying to oh, kill Christopher Lee. Right. He's an art critic. And he he, he just, he, he somehow this hand ends up coming off and trying to kill him. But yeah, it's um, just weird stories. But yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not great. It's definitely a B-movie. District 9. Uh, it's, all right, it's, but it's, a bit, it's not a B-movie though. No, I is tell it, you what I did watch. Do you know? Do you know the the, the fellow that was the copper from District Nine? Oh, the South African guy. Yeah, he did a film called Hard, uh, Hardcore Henry. 
And it's sort of like film from like a first person shooter point of view. Yeah, I'm actually get on with that. He, he was in there. That's worth a watch. If you if you an hour and a half spare of your time, Chris, you know, watch Hardcore Henry. Okay. Uh, Laura, I hope your brother gets better soon. Oh, oh what a shame. Mm. Hey, Aid. I know, I know what you're going through there. Very sad. What's Terror Train, anyone? Oh, that rings a bell. Linking that. into what they were talking about. Terror, wasn't it? It's not the train bit that Rich was talking about. Train, ter- Dr. Terror's train, uh, House of Terror. But it is train. Aid, evening lads. Hi, everyone. Hi, mm-hmm. Aid. Nice hat there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's not what I thought it was. What year was that? 1980, Trade. I'm just looking it up now. I Is might that have to look yeah, that one up. Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis, isn't it? Really? Yeah, and David Copperfield, somehow. Could be, yeah. Oh, yeah? You make the train disappear or what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks decent, that, to be fair. Might yeah, and it's on Blu-ray. Mm. This this show is just an excuse for Oliver Ian to just buy loads of more. Yeah, that's it. I will he's blame you. All, he's got them all on his, uh, in his basket, and when we finish, he just hits buy now. <laughs> just buy uh-huh. now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. I don't think I've got any. That looks, good. that looks good, actually. It does look good, doesn't it? I've just got the thing up here. Yeah, What's look, I'll, I'll I'll share it with the street uh, with the uh, chat. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, looks all right. Yeah, you can tell that straight off there, can you? There's, there's I can just bit, tell yeah. that that is going to be a decent film. Look at the old. Oh, he's got it as well. Nice life, bloody got it. <laughs> look at so the. So here's a quick, here's a question for you, Chris. How long can you play a trailer for before you get done for copyright on? YouTube, uh, not long at all. Five seconds. I think any anything music or anything is five it, seconds. Is that I, think that I think it can be even less than that, but it depends what you're using it for. If you're using it to we like it. commentate um, and and like review, that's you can get away with it. But if you're yeah, just I playing think... it and for no real reason, then then you get you get done for it. Because, you know, when I had my other channel, the other one that I was trying to start, the movie channel. Yeah. Um, you remember when I did that review for Toxic Avenger? Avenger. Yeah. Um, and I literally sort of watched the trailer. It was like a trailer reaction thing. Yeah. And, um, I had the entire trailer on the video. And it came up. I got a copyright for that. Uh, really? I, got, like, I got a message saying, um, you know... There'll be no action, but the owner of the trailer might monetize the video and take the money for it, which is fine. But I contested it. So I, I sent a message back saying that it was fair under fair use policy because mm-hmm. I was um, like commentating on the uh, original works. And uh, they lifted it and they, they were going to allow me to have that. So... They, you see, the thing do. is, is that there's so many online that do that. Yeah, they do, there is there's loads. Literally, I mean, the majority of the Americans do that as well. But every, every time they do it, every time they do it, they do risk getting a copyright strike. But if they can, if they can demonstrate that it's for the right purposes, then it should get lifted. Oh, okay. Like every time there's a new episode of like a show like Discovery or Walking Dead, there's the yeah. thing straight after, it, isn't it? People are breaking the episode down. It generally, when when you get one of those, because I even get it on this channel sometimes if I got a bit of music or something. Um, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't harm your account normally. It's not like a, it's, it's not like a black you know. art. It's just that it, whoever owns the material will most likely benefit from your monetization, and that's it. Mm-hmm. it. It very rarely, sometimes they they will tell you to take the video down, but that's pretty rare. I've only had that a couple of times. You've got to take it down. 
or they'll just remove it for you. But most of the time, they'll just allow you to use it, but they'll just take the money. Yeah. So, 10 to 8, Chris, you want to shout down to Bellantel to get your five bit late. It'll be nice and warm when you join her. I know, yeah. She's she's already under instruction. <laughs> She'll be out there already. She'll be, she'll be on the break at 8 o'clock. Yeah. It's like minus <laughs> five or something in, in, out we're, there. We're just, I'll just see Chris's internet drop off and gone eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. She's pulled the plug. See if there's any more chat before we finish for this week. Chris has ever Chris has obviously never heard of the saying never judge a book by its cover. Uh, in front of the movie you were looking at going, yeah, that looks good. I just know. I can tell Keely. As being an expert on B movies, <laughs> I can tell that that film is going to be good. He's, he's just got that in him, and he's just. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly that's exactly what happened with Zombievers. I saw the no, cover. You, pick, of you picked it up. That's going to be a cracker, and lo and behold, it was. And now Zombievers, I mean, sales have gone through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. They've sold twelve <laughs> more than they used to do. <laughs> it's the latest Chubb and Chubb's crew, isn't it? You know, you're not in the gang if you haven't got a copy of Zombievers. Is that that's probably why Netflix have picked it up? Yeah, you've seen the algorithm on eBay go through the roof. Yeah, probably. I wonder how Netflix do select what they they put on. God knows feedback, maybe I don't know. It's weird, mm. isn't it? <laughs> it's because good. they can buy the license for about a penny a license with half the stuff they've got on it. Yeah, I bet. Also, what what they show on Netflix in the USA is different to what they show on the UK. Oh, I know. There's some better stuff on the American one, apparently. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. You, get a code, you can get a code, can't you? That swaps your server over. I believe I so, yeah. But it sounds like a load of asshole to me. Yeah. Because I was searching the other week to see if I could find... It's to see if... Um, I just went on Google to see, is Quantum Leap on Netflix? Because I wasn't, I wasn't at home. I don't think at the time. So I just went on Google, and it said it was, but then I couldn't find it. And it turns out it was on the USA Netflix. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Blooming annoying that. So would that would that swap it over? If you had like um one of these private VPNs that you can jump on yeah. any country's network, yeah. would you be able to get it then? Probably, yeah. Oh, possibly, yeah. I don't so, know automatically. Just, I don't want to get too political, but who's winning then? Biden or Trump? I don't know. All I've heard today. No, it was it was Biden. Biden. it was Biden this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Like seventeen points. Well he's yeah. on one foot he's on two five three and Trump's on two fourteen. Looks like yeah. he's won it then, doesn't it? It's gotta to get to two seventy, but it's like yeah, but if he wins, if Biden wins, Trump's taking him to court. I've watched movies. Heard, though, have you seen? Have you seen what? Have you seen what he's been saying though? Trump, it's right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. One stage, at one stage, he was winning the majority of those states, and he, he yeah. was saying in previous elections that would have been enough to call that state. Yeah. Well, he'd and, come, and come out, he'd come out the day before, hadn't it? I come out yeah. like the day after, going, "I've won it." Mm. And then, like a load of votes just turned up, but I didn't want to get too too political. But I thought I'd ask because I'm. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep my eye on it, and nothing's changed in like forty-eight hours. How long does it take them to sort it all out, though? They reckon it could be past. Uh, was it so like December? They're counting. they counting the votes, isn't they? That's what it is. It's just taking too long. It's ridiculous. Well, well, they're classing mail votes now, aren't they? Postal yeah. votes. Yeah. They were yeah. Previous years they weren't classed, but now all of a sudden they are. That's what's taking the time. Trump's looking to take it to court, so if he does it, it will be December before they find anything out. Mm. What gets me is what gets me is how is almost half the American population voting for Trump? What kind of what it? kind of mindset have they got? I think it's though is it, it's like last time though, isn't it? Really, I mean, it's like voting for you know the the best of the worst, really, with both of them. Mm. Yeah, none of them were sort of standout candidates. We were saying to Krillin on uh, Andrew show the other week. No, Trump. Trump was behind in the polls and everything like that, wasn't he? And he said he was the first time round and he, he came out to hey, win. Hmm. You could have done it much easier and cheaper. You could have just stuck their names on Chris's wheel and just spun it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, perfect <laughs> idea. Best of four. Trump every yeah. time. 
<laughs> Queenie, we're, we're not far off being finished. I've got my orders to be done by eight o'clock because we're having a, a bonfire night outside. Um, got a curfew. Hell's uh, and Christmas movie collection. Bubba Hotep. Oh, yes. Oh. Bubba Hotep. Yeah, yeah, God, who's in it now? That's another one, Oliver Ian, will be back. No, I, I've been meaning to watch it for a while and I forgot all about it. That sounds like a like, Baron uh, Zeppardy type film. No, it's Bruce Campbell. That's the one. Monumentals in. <laughs> well, there we go. Speak of the devil. He will I've actually it. got it. You've got it? Bubba Hotel. Got, yeah. Have you got a Bruce list Campbell. of your films on your phone? No, no, I've just recognised the front cover. I have those, Steve. Right. I can't, I physically can't do that. I, I don't have enough time in the day to revise for this, let alone sit there and scan in. <laughs> I've got an app, Steve, called uh, My Movies, and you, yeah. as you buy, when you buy a film, you just scan it in and it saves it in your collection. Which would have been great about 10 years ago. Well, you've got to start somewhere, just get it done. So, so, so if you if you're going to buy a film and you you don't think you know you, you can't remember if you got it or like you just look you on your check. app and see if it's in. Yeah. yeah, just check see if you've got it. I do I it all the time. It, I can usually tell by front cover. That's that's the only thing I remember. I've got a thing like a photo I mean, no, memory with them. Like you, I normally know, but sometimes if I'm not hundred percent sure, then I'll just have a quick look. Oh, it's it's getting silly now. I shut the door. Right. Oh, yes, she's got a He's got a minute and a half, Bell. Minute he's and a half. To, he's yeah. talking to Just come on he's he's over an hour and he's gone over the hour and twenty. Oh, hello, hello, hello Bell. <laughs> hello. <laughs> she's obviously <laughs> feeling better. You wrapped up all nice and warm, ready for the fire pit. I am. I'm going to go light it now. So if you don't get his butt in gear, I'm going to eat all the marshmallows. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, Belle, Lana, Lana bought a big bag of raspberry rip white chocolate, uh, hot chocolate the other day from Tards. Sounds nice. Mm. Well, if he's lucky, Three he might have this hot hey, chocolate. Andrew. Yeah, I think so. I think it is. <coughs> Andrew's here. In gear? Yeah. Give me, let me, I'll wrap up and I'll be down. Oh, Literally, I'll wrap up. Looks like already wrapped up. Go see mummy. Right. Right, I, I suppose I better finish, isn't it? We yeah, have now Andrew's <laughs> turned up though. You know what I mean? We have to stay on now longer. Um, um oh, I, thought was, I thought it was the shine off his head, but it's not, it's the thumb print mark. <laughs> There's no shine on this. <laughs> Sorry, Murphy. Yeah, well, Chris, it's going to take her half an hour to get that fire going, mate. I, I just, know, yeah. You'll be all right. It'll be, good it'll be, be all right till it's warmed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so next week we are on... What are we on? Uh, the best movies of the 90s. Best movies of the 90s. That's what we're talking about next week. So we'll we'll stick to uh, probably the same time, 6.30 on a Thursday seems to be all right. Yeah, I'm good with that for the next few weeks. Stick with that for now. Um, Mo Monumental says, I've not asked any my movie-related questions yet. Well, you're it. almost out of time, Andrew. <laughs> you should have got here earlier. Star Wars film ever. <laughs> Space balls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Space balls. <laughs> That's the best Star Wars film ever. Oh. Return of the Jedi. Hey, Richard, are you a Star Wars fan? Original. I've only ever I've I think I've only ever seen fully the first one with Dave Prowse in it. Oh thank God. Yeah. I love the first one. You've not missed anything. Or the fourth one, whichever way you start look at it. The number I know of when times I went up five watching Star Wars. I know at Pine but they were, they were filming the new um, Jurassic Park, but they're also, they're also filming, I don't know whether it's a series or a new film of Star Wars as well. Of course they will. Uh, Disney are all over it. They're, no, no, they're, they're, actually, they're actually filming it now at Pinewood. Yeah. Man, 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 
Yeah, it might be the Mandalorian. That season two just started now, and it's been renewed for season three, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, the best ever. It was okay, but I wouldn't say the best ever. Death Race uh, 2000. We did mention that, Queenie, yeah. Bye, Keely. Thank you for coming. Yeah. No, Global Thrifters are on uh, 8 o'clock, which is pretty much now. So, uh, Right, let's wrap it up, guys. Thanks to all you right. all, all three of you. Thanks, Richard, Thank Audrey, you. and Steve. Appreciate Thanks you coming on. Again. No problem. And... Um, yeah, uh, thanks to all the chat as well for dropping in and, you know, <coughs> listening to our ramblings about films and joining in, which is always good. And that's it for this week. Um, so you could join us again, 6.30pm Thursday next week, and we'll do it all over again. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. Awesome. Hey, guys. Thanks, Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. He does it again, doesn't he? Look, 